Hello. <clears throat> uh, hello. Uh, how are you today? I hope you are fine and well. Okay. Um, so uh, let's start the lesson. Uh, yesterday, uh, we have learned a few things. Uh, let's check what they were. Uh, we have learned that the casting, uh, auto narrowing, uh, I'm sorry, auto widening, ex explicit narrowing, uh, castings, and proper classes. Today, I will use the slide. And yes, data casting. You are changing the type of the data. Uh, you know, some datas are impossible to change to other datas, uh, but uh, if they are similar datas, uh, they are, if they are similar data types, uh, easily you can change uh, one to another. Implicit data casting, uh, auto widening. For example, uh, all these are uh, number data types, you know, and when you try to put a small data type or narrower data type to larger one, a wider one, uh, without any problem, uh, Java can do it. If you try to do opposite, uh, you know, uh, this has a big capacity, uh, wide capacity, so byte cannot store all of it. Even uh, you use a small number uh, for a long number, when you try to cast it to byte, you know, normally byte can store uh, 10, Java will complain because Java does not check the value before uh, this casting. If you are trying to change long to byte, Java will complain no matter, uh, no matter uh, what the value is. But if you are sure about the volume, uh, yes, uh, it's a long, I know, but don't worry, but you can carry this number. If you are sure about that, you can forcefully uh, do uh, data casting. Don't uh, get scared. Uh, you know, data casting is changing the data type, that's all. It's not uh, always possible, uh, but uh, if there are similar data types, you can do it. Okay. For example, we have a byte A, it is 12. If you try to assign it to integer, you know, A is a byte data, it is 12, and a byte can, integer can cover byte capacity. So without any problem, uh, you can write it like this integer B is equal to byte A. And there's no red line, it means everything is perfect. If you try to do opposite, uh, you know, as you can see, when you try to uh, assign an integer data, this is an integer, A is integer, and it is 12, but don't worry about the value for now. When you try to assign an integer, you know, A is an integer to a byte, Java will complain. Uh, it will say, hey, it is not possible because integer has a big uh, bucket. So you cannot pour all the water to a smaller bucket. Uh, it is not possible. If you want to do it forcefully, same thing here, you need to write byte before the value. This is the data type you want to cast it to, byte. I want to turn A to a byte, and I want to do it forcefully. As you can see, without any problem, uh, if you write this, it means, trust me, Java, it will work. I know what I'm doing. And if you say that, Java will not complain anymore. But if you are not sure, if the number is uh, higher than bytes capacity, like this, uh, we are trying to turn an integer 
uh, with the value five, six, seven, which is C to a byte, it, it won't be possible. You know, byte capacity, maximum value of the byte is uh, 127. So it won't be able to store 567. Something else will happen in that kind of situation. It will uh, give us 55. I tried to explain uh, what happened there in yesterday's lesson. If you wonder what's happening there, just check uh, yesterday's lesson. Uh, it should be stored in your LMS account. And yes, let's try to remember uh, a few uh, terms. For example, data casting. If somebody says to you what data casting is, uh, you can say converting, uh, changing the types of variables. If it was an integer, you can change it to a number. Uh, I'm sorry, if it's an integer, you can change it to byte or byte to integer, you can change the types. But some of the types uh, cannot, uh, do not uh, accept different data types. You cannot change a number. Uh, I'm sorry, you cannot uh, store a number in a string uh, value. Yes, uh, not all the types can be converted. Don't worry about that. Auto widening means uh, Java can do this casting automatically. Uh, if you are trying to assign a byte to an integer number uh, data, the Java will do this uh, casting automatically without any complaining. If you try to upside, Java will complain. You should force uh, Java to do it, and we have explained that a few minutes ago. As long as you are sure about the data, uh, there won't be a problem. But if it is higher than 127, if you are trying to uh, turn it to in byte, uh, Java, will, uh, Java won't be able to uh, give you right result. You should try it yourself and you will see the result. Also, we have learned uh, ASCII table. Uh, you know, uh, it's also always about the chart of type uh, characters. In computers, uh, everything is a number. So every letter, every symbol, or every number actually has a value. Like this, uh, for example, uh, exclamation marks, uh, values 33. Uh, capital A is uh, 65. And there are a lot of different symbols here uh, that I do not know what they mean. But the important part here, and every value, every number, every letter or uh, symbol has a math mathematic uh, number like this. When you use a char data type in a math calculation, they have a tendency uh, to act like a number. If you uh, try to, if you write, if both of them are char, if you write A plus B, instead of writing uh, letters, they will act like numbers. The result will be, uh, if I remember correctly, 197 or six, uh, sorry, 195. Uh, we have done it yesterday, so I'm not going to explain it. But we can solve, uh, I'm sorry, we can solve a few questions here. Let me check something before. Here, uh, let's uh, start today's package. The name is day uh, of four. And got the testing. Wrapper plus and increment decrement. Okay. Oh, no, that's not correct. Let me copy. Okay, I have to write it again. Sorry there. 
I have to create one more time. I always forget to right click on the right place. I will right click on this RC and leave package. So I will create this package. Day uh, of war data testing, uh, wrapper classes, and increment decrement. Okay, now I can start first Java class. C01 as key uh, table. If you remember first, <clears throat> I need to uh, start with main method and I can write all my code uh, here between uh, curly brackets. So <coughs> I will write a few uh, values here. When we use uh, a char data type, if you, uh, if you use if we use a math symbol or calculation symbol, they uh, will act like numbers. So <coughs> I feel uh, I will write a few uh, letters and the values. For example, A has 97. B is 98, <coughs> C is 99. And I, I think you can see there's an order. Uh, out, uh, when you follow the alphabetic order, uh, always when you increase the value by one, or if you change the uh, letter, uh, the number uh, will also follow the letters. B comes after A and the value of B is higher than A by one. There's only one difference between that. So, <coughs> so I will uh, write the next uh, calculation here. Five plus 98. Let's see the result. You know, it's very easy. Uh, it will be 103 or two, sorry. But uh, then I will show you something else. 102. If I write it like this, so five plus eight, the result will be the same. 102, 102. Because this is a chart character, uh, we can understand from the single card here, uh, single cards. Uh, when I run it, I will see few uh, 102 numbers here. Because first one comes from the first line, the second one comes from here. When a chart data type, chart character sees a mathematical uh, symbol, they act like numbers uh, from the ASCII table, I mean, from this table, uh, table. A was, A, A was uh, 90, uh, 97, so it has acted like 97 here. You can use numbers, for example, I will use a char here. Let's use char, character. It will be cool to be. We know it's well, right? It is a uh, night seven. If I directly uh, print it, director, it will print B because there is no uh, mathematical uh, symbol here. It will only print B, which is here. If I add a number after it, so character plus one, it will print the value, which is 99. 98 plus one is 99. I hope you could be able to understand what I mean here. 
And there's another way. Uh, let's uh, write another one, char one. This is my another char character. And I will use number here. As you can see, it accepts number. But you know, uh, char character can only store, uh, char data type can only store one uh, symbol. But here there is there are two numbers. It shouldn't be possible. But because of this number, actually we are using uh, ASCII table. 99, 99 is C. Because this equal symbol, if I try to print char one, it will be C. So char one. C. If I use a math symbol after it, it will only, it will uh, become a number again. If you want to increase the value, for example, we know uh, the value of D will is uh, 100. And if I want to use a math calculation to reach uh, the letter after C, you have to forcefully turn it to character. Let me show you. For example, I want to print the letter after uh, char one. Char one is C right now. And I somehow I want to uh, print D. It won't act like uh, C here because it will print 100, just like previous uh, calculations. If you want to print D, uh, you have to cast it to char one more time. Now I know that this is 100. I want to turn it to char one more time, char, by using data casting. You know, to do data casting forcefully, you need to write uh, the uh, data type between a uh, normal brackets between the data. And I want to turn this uh, 100 to char. You know, uh, 100 means, let's check the uh, SQ table, 100 means D. Char one's value is 99. It is C, but you know, when it sees this plus, it will act like 99. Plus one is 100. This part is 100. And we are trying to turn this 100 value to a character. It will be D now. We will see D at that. I hope you could be able to understand uh, how to use this ASCII table. Just know that if you want to use a number as a character, uh, it means you should use a chart table, this ASCII table, and chart dot type, and forcefully you should cast the number to a character. That's all you should remember from this uh, chart table. Just remember the connection. Uh, if you can remember the connection, uh, whenever you have a problem, you can come uh, to this slide and check it from there. Okay, I think that much is enough. And we have tried to solve all those questions. So uh, let's try to solve another question. Uh, a second, please. Okay, from here. I will try to solve a question uh, so we will be able to understand what's happening there. CO2 data testing. I will write a question here. Use uh, two integers, integer number, numbers to make, uh, to calculate a division. Result should be a double, double number, or should be double the, the time.
So first, uh, we will uh, we need two uh, integer numbers. So uh, we will uh, divide them, and uh, result should be a double. Let's do that. I need two integer numbers for that. Integer number one. It will be equal to twenty. Twenty-five. Let's make it twenty. I'm seeing twenty-five. Writing twenty-five. I don't know why. Integer number two will be six. And I will uh, create a double for the result. Double result is equal uh, is equal to. I will divide them by the second number. I will divide first number by the second one. Number one divided by number two. And let's print the result. If you if I left it like this, I won't be able to see the result. The program will start and end without any uh, printing. I won't be able to. Oh, sorry, I have forgotten to print the main method. So as you can see, if you I don't if I don't use uh, main method here, I cannot execute the call. I will cut it, and I will create main method. Then I will uh, pass it in the main method. If I can find it. Okay. Now it will work. If I run it like this, I won't be able to see anything in the console because I haven't printed anything. It means there will be nothing. Code uh, has calculated everything here, but did not show anything to us. Let's print the result. Salt result. Now I can uh, see the result. It says uh, three. It is double. But when I divide 20 by six, actually they should, there should be uh, decimal units, right? I will use calculation here, uh, calculator here to see. If I divide 20 by six, as you can see, it's a double, but the result is wrong. Why? That's the question we should ask. Let me explain. Yes, I have used an integer number and the second number is also an integer. If you use only integer numbers, the result will be no matter what, it will be an integer. This is an integer, that's the type. The second one is also an integer as you can see, and the result will also be an integer. Result will be an integer too. Integer data cannot store decimal uh, units. So no matter what you do, no matter uh, which number you use, the result won't have any decimal units like this. At this robot, you know, it, it means nothing. The result will be always wrong. Yes, you know, uh, yes, we have calculated this value, but I am assigning it to the double, so it should show it should sh uh, show uh, decimal units. We can say that, but actually, uh, if you remember how Java works, when it sees uh, this kind of an uh, this kind of a assignment, an assignment, first it will calculate the right side of the assignment, first order. And integer uh, divided by another integer, it will be result, uh, the result will be also an integer. So it is three without any decimal units. Even though it has it, it won't be stored. Then it is making the assignment. Double cannot change anything here because it is affecting the calculation after the first uh, step. It is not changing anything. Uh, it is not important uh, when we are uh, making division here when we are calculating the, uh, those numbers. To solve this problem, uh, we should do it like this. I will create uh, other numbers, integer number three, it will be again 20, and integer number four, and again, it will be six. You can use different numbers, it is not important. I just wanted to show the difference. 
Again, I will uh, create another result, global result. The naming should be a little different than previous one. We cannot have uh, same name uh, variables in same class, so I changed the uh, name a little. Number three divided by number four. Everything is same. If I want to see uh, the result I said, uh, with decimal units, I need to change uh, one number's data type. If there is uh, uh, one double uh, number here, the uh, result of this calculation will be calculated uh, in double data type. Java always uses uh, the wider data type. Double has wider capacity than an integer. So uh, if I somehow use a double here, uh, the result will be calculated uh, in double format. But I know both uh, numbers are integer and the question is like that. So I cannot change uh, a data type of those numbers. Instead, uh, I can change a data type of those numbers in the calculation. So the casting, I will write double here. So this number uh, becomes a double. So the result will also uh, be a double and I will be able to see the decimal units. Salt result, the shorter one. Now, our first one will be three and the second one will be with decimal units. If you face this kind of problem, I want to see uh, decimal units just uh, use uh, casting to a, a number, just one number is enough, the result will be double uh, data type like this. And after that, you can print it. Let's write it. If you want to receive a double result, double uh, a number, decimal units we should do a uh, casting if at at least one number in the coefficient should be a double and we can do it by a uh, casting we can do it by data casting. Okay. If you have any question, uh, please ask. If you have sl uh, Slack installed in your uh, computer, you can use your Slack channel, uh, or uh, if you, you can also use the uh, Zoom channel too. For now, it's possible. I can follow a uh, Zoom channel and the uh, Slack live um, channel at the same time. But for now, I cannot see any question. Please, uh, without any hesitation, ask your questions. It is very important. We are in a live uh, session right now. And uh, uh, my duty is uh, explain this topic. And uh, the most important thing here uh, is your understanding. So if you cannot understand something, please ask it. It's very important for me. It was a good review. Uh, let's continue from the slide. I couldn't be able to see any question here. Oh, rubber classes. Yes. Let me explain that part too. Oh, I clicked one thing. Let me close it. A second, please. Yes, I will talk about the Robertless uh, elbow just to remember what we have learned yesterday. CO3 rubber classes. 
And without forgetting, first I want to create the main method, then I will uh, use it. You know, uh, we can create an integer value. And uh, let's say it is three. Yeah, wrapper class means uh, uh, a more technological uh, data type. You know, integer is a primitive data type. Simple and fast. But it doesn't have any primitive methods for us to use in our math calculations. So Java developers uh, created another class. Uh, it is very same. The purpose of this uh, class is also same. It is used to store numbers, but as uh, developers, Java developers added primitive methods to it and integer number two, let's say, we can still again assign in a number to it. Non uh, primitive data type, wrapper class. When we do use them in calculation, the result will be the same. Integer number, the first number is an uh, primitive data plus three. And I will also use this number two, which was a non primitive data type, number two plus three. For both of them, the result will be the same because the values of these numbers are three. Both of them are six, as you can see. There is uh, no difference between them when you use them in math calculation. The biggest difference is for the primitive data type, when I enter number and dot, <clears throat> I cannot see any primitive methods because it does not have any primitive methods. Let me write it like this. When we uh, use try try to use the primitive method type with a dot, we cannot reach any method. If I do same thing with the number two, number two dot, here I have a lot of different methods I can use. For non uh, primitive dot types, we have a lot of uh, primitive methods. And also, integer, uh, this class has methods for us to use. Integer dot, as you can see, mean value, percent value of. Blah, 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 a lot of blah, blah. Uh, of course, we are going to learn all of them how to use. And actually, <coughs> you can understand a lot of things from their names too. Uh, don't worry, we will learn them. Also, uh, plus itself has a lot of primate methods. at our service. Okay. Uh, all of uh, primitive data types has a, a wrapper class. For example, if you use byte, the wrapper class of it is byte, as you can see. We can understand it from the uh, first letter. If it's a lowercase, it means it's primitive. If it's a bigger case, uh, uppercase, sorry, it means it is uh, Wrapper type, num primitive data type. Okay, that was a good review. And a few examples, I can check them. Math operations. Uh, before that, uh, we can solve another question, I think. But don't worry about that. Uh, let's continue. I think that uh, much review was enough. Is enough. Yes. 
you know, uh, including everything is about math, but don't worry, uh, not always we sh need to know uh, math. Instead, we should know how Java works. It's very important. If you know how Java works, of course, uh, easily uh, you can uh, manage Java. Uh, you can handle Java if you know it. You can uh, force Java to do hard uh, heavy lifting. So uh, don't worry. But I will uh, try to show how it calculates calculates uh, the mathematical operations. There is a priority uh, in math, and Java follows those uh, rules. First, you have to uh, calculate the powers. If you see a math calculation, first you need to calculate the power, and Java will uh, do the same thing. Power means uh, to power three or eight power two, uh, square of the eight. Things like that. If there is an upper number like this, uh, power, uh, we should calculate uh, in that value. Second, always start from uh, braces, brackets, whatever you say. If there is uh, normal brackets in the calculation, first you need to calculate uh, whatever is inside of it. Third one, uh, if there is a multiplication or division, you should calculate them before uh, addition uh, or subtraction. Power, brackets, multiplication or uh, division, uh, and addition and subtraction. There will be a few examples here, and we will try to solve them. First one, let's check the first uh, step. First, we need to calculate the powers without checking anything. But here, uh, there are powers uh, in different places. First, we need to check the uh, inside of the brackets. So the result of this is uh, two times two times two. There is three as a power, four and eight. When I calculate this one, three times, Three times three, it is 27. The new calculation is like this. There's another power here, but first I need to calculate uh, inside of the bracket, brackets. You know, uh, inside of the brackets, there is a multiplication and a subtraction. If I check here, first I need to calculate the multiplication. Five times eight, it is 40 minus 27. It will be uh, 13, I think. So we are still inside of the uh, brackets. It is like this. Minus 13, 24 plus. Now our calculation is exactly like this. When I check it, uh, when I check this uh, list, it says first powers. Okay, uh, 13 times 13, it is 169, if I remember correctly. If I uh, do some miscalculation, please uh, warn me. So 24 plus minus, 13. Let's do the calculation. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, where you start because they are in same class, plus and minus. So let's do the uh, math. When I do this part, it will be 156, 24 plus. It will be uh, 0, 7, 8. 118, I think this should be the result. It seems so. What I have done here, first I have calculated the powers. 
then uh, I said that I should calculate the uh, brackets. Here it is, I should be able to calculate. Here it is, uh, 13. And then I calculate the power, which is 169. Then uh, there is addition and subtraction are in the same level. It doesn't matter uh, which one you do first. I'll calculate the result and I found 118. And I hope it's correct. <laughs> Let's try to solve another one. When I check the first one, uh, I cannot see in the power here. So uh, it says, then you should do calculate the uh, brackets. Again, uh, there is no brackets here. Then uh, multiplications and divisions. Oh, here we have a multiplication. Another one is here. So let's calculate them first. Five times two, it is 10. Three times four, which is 12. And new calculation, and the new question is 14 minus 10 plus 12 minus eight. It doesn't matter where you calculate, but it's always better to start from the left side. That doesn't matter. 14 minus 10, uh, which is four. Now the calculation is four plus 20 minus eight. Again, I will uh, do the uh, calculation from the left, left side. Four plus uh, 12, it is 16 minus eight. And the result comes here it will be eight. Now we could be able to find the calculation. Now let's continue. What about this one? Power, there's no power. Brackets, no brackets. Multiplication, okay, we have out of multiplication and divisions. For example, uh, this one has divisions and multiplications. Also, this is a multiplication. Seven times four, which will be 28. This part is a little uh, tricky. You know, there are two of them, but multiplication and divisions are in the same line. So it doesn't matter uh, which one you do first. But I prefer uh, starting from the left side. When I divide 24 by six, uh, it will be four four times two, I have calculated this part. And when I make the calculation, uh, it will be eight. This part is eight minus 28 plus nine. To make it easier, again, I will start from the left side, you know, there's a, yes, I can see there's an easier way to handle it, but let's start from here. When I calculate this, it will be minus 20 and plus nine comes from there. Minus 20 and uh, plus nine, it will be minus 11. What about this one? First power, no power here. Brackets, oh, we have a bracket. Let's do the calculation. It is three. We have no other. So there is a uh, calculation is eight times five plus two times three minus 19. So first uh, we have multiplications here and here. I should calculate that. 8 times 5, 14, plus 2 times 3, 6, minus 19. Yes, 46 uh, minus 19. The result will be 26, 29, I think. 
Okay, as I told you, if you see any uh, mistake here or error, please uh, tell me something, write something on Zoom or somewhere else. I will try to fix the problem. And I couldn't be able to see anything uh, from Slack in Slack or there is no message in Zoom. It means uh, you got everything, you understand what I'm trying to say. Yes, we do not need to memorize them, of course. Uh, but we should know how Java works. It's very important. Otherwise, when we try to solve a question by using uh, a calculation, we may face unexpected results if you know if you do not know the rules. Otherwise, it's not very important. If you are not planning to do this kind of calculations, don't worry about that. Modulus. You know, uh, modulus is also an important topic uh, in Java. Uh, actually, in uh, math uh, lessons, you haven't used it a lot, but in uh, Java, it is very important. If there is something about it, we have to use it. How we are going to understand it, how to use it, uh, don't worry, uh, we will learn them that too. This symbol return us the reminder. When you try to divide 40 by 10, there will be four of it, 40. Reminder will be zero. When you use modulus 40 modulus 10, directly it will give you zero. Another example. Let me change the color. 41, when I divide by 10, there is 4, 40. The modulus will be 0, 1, which is 1. This is the uh, reminder. When I use 41, I'm sorry, I'm saying 41, what I'm writing, 40. Uh, modulus 10, the result will be 1, because the reminder is 1. Let's try to use another example. 27, if I divide it by three, nine, 27, the result will be zero. 27 modulus three, it will be zero. Reminder will be the result directly. If I use 28, and if I try to divide by three, the, uh, here it will be nine, 28 and the modulus will be one. And 28 modulus three, it will be one. For the 29, and this is the last example here, 29, when I divide by three, this is nine, again 28, and the reminder will be two. So when I use 29, modulus three, it will be equal to two. I mean, uh, modulus means uh, I want to get reminder of this <laughs> division operation. That's all. Modulus uh, gives us always the reminder. Uh, it's break time. Uh, let's have our break time and then we will continue. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you after 10 minutes.
Hello again. Uh, let's continue from where we have left. So we have learned uh, what modulus is. Uh, it's all about remind. Of course, you wonder uh, where we uh, where will we use it. Don't worry, we will use it a lot. And let's first let's understand the logic, and then we will solve a good question uh, about it. I will create another class and then see all four. The name will be modulus. And before everything else, I will create main method. I will create integer number one, and it will be equal to 27. And let's calculate something. 27 modulus three. It will be zero, right? Uh, because uh, 27 can be divided by three. The result will be three. If I write same line by changing the number to 28, the result will be one. Because when we divide 28 by three, uh, there will be one as a reminder. I will do the same thing and I will use uh, 29 this time, then the reminder will be three. I have two, sorry. Oh, let's use a separator here. And this time I will use different numbers. So 40 uh, modulus 10. 40 can be divided by 10 without uh, any reminder. Reminder will be zero. And if I use 40 modulus uh, seven, the reminder will be, I have to check it, I do not know. Uh, seven, 14. Oh, it will be five, 35, of course. Five. Things like that, uh, when we divide 40 uh, by seven, the reminder will be five, and without any problem, uh, Java can find it. This line is unnecessary. Let's see it there. Modulus symbol. In Java, it is uh, this symbol is used to calculate reminder. Okay, I think that's enough. Uh, let's use it in action. I will try to solve a question. This question is a little hard to understand, but I will try to explain it as uh, easy as possible. Uh, first, we will try to understand the logic, and then uh, we will try to solve it. Okay, the question, we have only one question. And the question is, let's take a positive uh, four digit integer uh, from user and find the sum of uh, the digits. Let me copy. Ah, oh, before copying, uh, let's try to understand the logic. We are going to take a number from user. I will use a number. And this is the number, 1384. And it says, uh, find the sum of the digits. Uh, I'm sorry, there's a bug here. Four plus eight plus three plus one. Well, which will be uh, 12, 16, I believe. 
Yes, it will be. So uh, just like this, somehow I should be able to calculate uh, some of the digits. And automatically, I should be able to find some of the digits. Yes, we, uh, when we are human, uh, we can do it uh, with, your, with our eyes, but somehow I should be able to calculate it. I will do it like this. Uh, I will write it one more time. One, three, eight, four. First, if I divide uh, this number by 10, I can reach the first number. Let's uh, divide by 10. 113, uh, When I divide by 10, 138 will be here. Uh, 113. 100, 300, 30, uh, 380. When I make the calculation, reminder will be four. And I should add it to somewhere. This is the sum of digit and four plus. Now, uh, I have this number. If I divide this number by 10, I can reach the eight, as you can see. Under 38. When I divide it by 10, it will be 13 under 30, and the reminder will be eight. This is the number uh, I want to reach, eight. And I will add it to the sum, four plus eight. Again, now I have 13. If I divide 13 by 10, there is one 10 in it, 10. The reminder is three. And I will add it to the sum. And now I have a one. If I divide one by 10, zero reminder will one and i will add the one to the sum and i could be able to reach uh 16. then uh this part equals to zero it means calculation has ended the end so again again and this one has four digits this means I have to divide the number uh, four times. And when this part is zero, the calculation will end. That's the logic. Let me explain it one more time. The number is this. And I should uh, store the remainder, remainder, Reminder, and <clears throat> I should write the uh, smaller number. New number, and I will have the sum. When I divide it by ten, modulus ten will be four. This is the first uh, number here. I will add it to sum, four. This is four. Let me delete it. Name number. <clears throat> now, <coughs> I should uh, divide this number by 10, and it will be 118. If you remember, when I divide the number by 10, and if I assign it to an integer, integer won't store the decimal units. And after the comma, it is not important. I will divide it by 10 and assign it to an integer. So the number will be 128. 
Again, now I have 128 instead of uh, 1384. If I divide it by 10, the result will be eight, which is the first, the last digit. And I will, when I divide it by 10, the new number will be 13. And I need to add eight to sum, four plus eight right now. And my new number is 13. Now I will follow same uh, steps for 13. Modulus 10 is three and the new number will be one when I divide by 10. And the sum, I need to add three to sum. The new number is one. So one will be here. Modulus uh, 10 will be one. New number, when I uh, divide down by 10, the new number will be zero. And I should add one to sum. The total sum will be 16, the number I am looking for. If you could be able to understand this logic, uh, we are going to uh, code it. We are going to create a code that follow the steps. If you can think uh, this logic, uh, writing the code is easy, don't worry. For now, uh, you may not be able to think it, uh, but if you could be able to think this logic, uh, this logic, uh, it is really easy for you to write the code when, I'm, uh, when you know how to write. Okay. If you have any question about this one, uh, this logic, I will gladly explain it. Any question? No? No, okay. I will clean everything and let's start coding. First thing first, you should create main method. And uh, I will pass the question here. If I can find it. What was the number? Number is. You can enter any number. Okay, the first, we are taking a number from user. This means we should uh, use scanner. We are going to scan object, and we are going to inform user what we are asking for, and we are going to store uh, what user enters. Okay, let's do that. Scanner, scan, new scanner system dot in. I have created my first step. Uh, I have created my scan object. Let's inform the user. So please enter a four digit integer. User will enter a number with four digits and then I will store it. This is an integer, so let's use integer that type number. Uh, it will be equal to scan dot next int. This will take the number uh, from user and we will uh, store it in the number. Integer number, that's right. Integer type and name is, name is number. So I have completed the first step. And now we should uh, find the sum of the digits. First step is uh, modulus 10. This way, we could be able to reach um, the four. Modulus 10, calculate the modulus 10. Then we will add it to add the result to sum. There, will, there should be a sum value, and we will add result to sum value. 
then we will uh, again uh, we will divide the number divide number by 10 then assign it to an integer you know uh, this is the number number eight four when I divide by 10, the result will be uh, approximately about four. When I assign it to integer, uh, integer cannot store uh, decimal units, so I won't save it, and I will have uh, 138. And again, then I will uh, repeat the functions. I will take the eight, then again, I will take the three, and the last one, I will take the four. Uh, and I will follow same steps uh, four times, same uh, same as digit numbers, number of digits. Repeat. Okay. Now uh, I should calculate the uh, modulus ten. Number modulus ten. That's easy. This give me uh, the four at the first step, but I should add it to uh, add to a sum. For that, I should create a sum data integer sum. At first, it will be zero, right? And this will be uh, the modulus step. I found four. Now we should add it to the sum. Sum is equals to sum plus uh, number modulus 10. It is four. And the right now sum is zero. Sum plus four, it will be four and it will be assigned to sum. Sum value is the first number uh, added to sum is four. Now uh, I have uh, 1,384, but I should get rid of the four because now I have stored it. I will do it like this. Integer uh, of, of course, number equals to number divided by 10. You know, uh, number is an integer. It was 1,384. But you know, the, when we see assignment, first we need to calculate the right side. When I divide it by 10, it will be 100 comma four. And you know, I'm assigning it to integer, numbers and integer. So it won't store the decimal unit and it will be 138. I will follow same steps. Modulus four, modulus ten is four. I will again and again I follow uh, do the same steps. Now our number is uh, the number is hundred thirty six. Number modulus ten. This is uh, right now eight. I need to edit. Uh, to sum, sum is equal to sum plus eight. This part is eight, sum is four from here. And the final value of the sum is 12 right now. Well, let me write the values here. In the first step, number sum. In the first step, uh, number is 130, 13, 8, 4, and sum is 4. In the second step, 138, and the sum is 12, because uh, 8 is added to the 4.
Okay, number is equal to number divided by 10. It will be 13. So now we have 13 and let's calculate the sum. Number modulus 10. It is three right now. I will I should add it to sum. Sum is equals sum is equal to sum plus number blah blah. It will be 12 or uh, plus three, it will be 15. And now I should calculate a new number. Number is equal to number divided by 10, which will be one. The last value of the number is one. And the sum is, uh, let's calculate it. Sum is equal to sum uh, equals to sum plus number modulus modulus ten, and we will add one to fifteen. It will be sixteen. Let's print the sum. Start sum. If you can see uh, the sixteen. It means everything is right. If we cannot, uh, we will try to find the problem. Oh, it says please enter the fourth digit integer. That was the number and 16 as it just it files. If I use a different number like 4,000, easily uh, we can see the result because the uh, in digits uh, sum is four. As you can see, it is four. If I use one, two, three, six, and press enter, it is 10. Three, six, and 10, it's working. As long as it is four digit, uh, it is a four digit number, uh, it will work. So, do you have any question for me? No, okay. Let's continue now. Here, uh, we have a few tips here. Uh, it says number modulus 10 gives us the last digit, as you can see, uh, 1,469 modulus 10 is nine, which gives us the last digit. And when I uh, divide number into number by 10, uh, we can uh, get rid of the last digit. Uh, when I divide by 10, it will be uh, 146 because integer number cannot store decimal. When I divide by 10, it will be um, like this. And I am trying to assign it to an integer. It won't store the uh, decimal units, so it will be 146. Sure, that's the logic. And let's continue. Oh, this is so critical. Oh, we have uh, yesterday. So don't worry about it. But it is still online. Uh, if you want to solve the questions, uh, just go into this uh, website or search for Socrative Student and type there uh, Madden8603. Search uh, on Google Socrative Student. And it will ask uh, you the name of the room, type it like this, and then you write your name and done, you will be able to enter the exam. Uh, if you, it, it is a good exercise, don't worry. The results are not saved record somewhere. Uh, it is just for uh, remembering uh, the previous lessons. You have learned everything. Uh, I have also solved those questions yesterday. Uh, at the last 15 minutes, but you can solve them uh, yourself. We will have a lot of uh, this kind of quiz. I will try to solve them at the beginning of the first lesson, 
yesterday's uh, yesterday was an exception. So let's continue. You know, uh, um, uh, we always, uh, when we are doing something in Java or as a tester, sometimes we need to increase or decrease values. We can uh, add or uh, multiply them uh, by other numbers, with other numbers. So uh, to increase uh, a value, there are a lot of uh, different ways uh, to do that. That's an easy way. You can write it like this. We have a number and the value of it uh, is 10. Normally the number is 10. If you think, uh, whenever I see a number, I will write 10. Normally it was like this. If you think uh, like math, the calculation is like this. 10 is equals to 10 equals to 10 plus three. Uh, they assert themselves, zero will equal to, uh, zero will be equal to uh, three. But of course it's not, like, it's not like this. When we see an assignment equal to symbol like this, First, we need to calculate the right side of the assignment. Then we will assign it. First, calculate uh, 10 plus 10, which will be 13. And we will assign this value to number. After this line, number will be 13. From now on, when I say number, computer will say 13. Here, uh, this is a little different and it's a little hard to understand. You know, I'm repeating same thing here. Number is, equals to, number is equal to number plus three. I do not need to write it like this. There's another way and it seems more professional. If you want to look like a uh, professional, uh, you can write it like this. Number plus equal three. It is the same thing. It means add three to uh, number. If you write it like this, uh, it will increase the uh, value of number by three. These lines are same. They do uh, they do the same thing. If you cannot remember uh, to like it like this, just write it like this. Uh, don't worry. This is not very important. But normally developers uh, use this symbol, uh, this, this uh, syntax to write this kind of code. Here it is doing the same thing. Actually, it is like a number equals to number times three. It is the same thing as you can see. Uh, it is saying, multiply number by 30. When you write, write it like this, it takes a longer space in the coding, but it's not important. Don't worry, they are the same. Uh, you can use uh, whichever you prefer, but if you want to look like a professional, you should use it like this. But don't worry about it. Another way to increase uh, a value of uh, a number, you can use plus plus. When you use plus plus, it means plus one. The number is uh, 10 here, and in this line, it becomes 11. We added one to it. That's all. Plus plus means plus one. It becomes 11. That's all. Decrement, of course, is very uh, similar. Same thing. Uh, first, you need to calculate the right side of the assignment. Number is 10 here. When I subtract two from it, it will be eight, of course. Eight. It is the same thing. Uh, this means number minus. Uh, number, is equal, number is equal to 
number minus four. Exactly like this, but instead now I'm using uh, minus four. It was 10 when I uh, make make the calculation, uh, make, when I make the, um, when I calculate this uh, operation, uh, it will be six and num new value of the number will be six. It's just the six. Minus minus means, uh, I think you can uh, guess, it means minus one. It was 10 minus one, it will become nine. It's just, it's very easy. Before this part, uh, let's try to understand it uh, by writing a few quotes. I will create another class for this one. Increment. Increment. We are going to increase uh, values, all numbers, and decrease them. That's all. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, we need a number, right, to work on. I will create an integer number. The value will be 10, my favorite number. And now I want to increase the value by three and I want to print it. Numbers equal to number plus three. Yes, that's right, the result is 13, but let's print it. I will print the value of the number. The number is 13. Yes, I can hear you. You're right. I will do the same thing. You know, from now on, after this line, number will be always 13. And uh, let's do something else. Number plus equal three. If remember, I did the same thing with this number it is equals to number plus three. Just uh, before this line, number became 13. So number equals to 13 plus three, it will be 16. If I print number, I'm sorry, let's print salt number, it will be 16. But you should remember that it is the same thing. I am just adding three to the number, number spoiler, and it became 16, as you can see. It is the same thing. It's not calculating this part, it's only calculating this part of the code. This is a comma. Okay, let's create another number, integer number or number. I changed the name, and uh, this time I will make it 10. It is the same one. Just increase the value of number. It's very easy. Uh, I just need to write number is equal to number plus one. Let's print the number. It was 10 here. When I add one to it, it will become 11. So no problem here. You will see 11 after the 16. Did I run it? No, two. 11 is coming here, 11 it is. Let's increase the value of uh, this uh, new number again. Number plus equals one. And print the value of the number, so number. It was 11 here before this, oh, I have used the wrong number, sorry. 
Okay, let's run it now. It was 11. When I add one to it, it will become 12. It is the same thing. Uh, let me write it here. Number is equal to uh, number plus one. It is the same thing. And we have learned another way to increase the value of the number. Number plus plus. It will also increase the value of the number by one. So number. It was 12 um, from the previous line. And I'm adding another one to it. It will become 13. Now I will uh, change the place of uh, this plus plus. Plus plus number. Salt number. It will do the same thing. It will increase the value of uh, this new model number by one, and it will become 14. Of course, you wonder what's the difference between them. And in the next lesson, uh, we will try to understand the difference. This is all about this uh, number thing. I will create another number and I will try to decrease the value of this number by one in each time. So let's do that. Integer t, we have another number, it will be 10. Another thing came to the stage. t is uh, equal to t minus one. And without calculating the result, I will continue t uh, minus equal to one. And another one, t uh, minus minus, minus minus t. When I try to see the result of uh, the last value of the t, what will be the uh, result? Can you tell me? You can uh, use Zoom channel or Slack channel, anywhere, it is acceptable. Okay, uh, let's run the class. The last one is six, because minus one comes here, another minus one, another minus one, and another minus one. It means uh, 10 minus four is six. Yes, uh, let's continue. I think we have learned uh, what does minus minus means, how we can uh, calculate this uh, code, and this is very easy to understand. Let's continue. Of course, we will make things uh, a little bit more complicated than they are. Uh, this uh, code is easy, but uh, sometimes it can get confusing. Don't worry about it for now. We will see. Pre and post increments. We are going to increase or decrease the values. Uh, and we will use plus plus when we are trying to increase the value, minus minus when we are trying to decrease the value. Here you know plus plus increase the value by one, my minus minus decrease the value by one. Okay. So uh there's a difference when I put plus plus after the number, or if I can put it before the number, if the syntax is different, then something should be different than each other. I will try to show uh, it in a question. I will create another class here. See our seven pre 
Uh, increment uh, we have a new class first thing first let's create main method then I will create an integer number and the value of it will be 10. Right now I have a number. So I will write a code like this. Oh, I'm sorry. Number plus plus. Oh, plus plus. If I print the number, it was 10 here. I have it, I have added one to it. And the new body should be 11. What's that? What is 11 is cancel. Here and the line nine, I have increased the value by one. And after this line, always number will be 11. And now I want to increase the volume like this number. And again, I have used this symbol. It will also increase the value of the number by one. So number, it will be 12 because I have increased the value uh, by another one. Plus one, plus one. So we couldn't be able to see the result, right? Okay, let's go back to the slide and try to understand what's happening here. Actually, they do uh, different things. The result is same, but process is different. When I do it like this, of course, it will increase the volume and it will print the volume. Uh, let's write this code and uh, check the result. I will do the same thing in code. I will create another number, integer b, and it will be 10 at first. Salt b. I'm trying to uh, print the value of b plus plus, and I want to print a. Let's see what happens. As you can see, oh, I will write an explanation here so we can understand. I'm just writing an explanation. Before writing the value of piece, uh, I will write P for us to be able to understand what's going on there. Oh, sorry. And uh, that wasn't enough explaining. It is much better than that. As you can see, B is 10. I have increased the value of the B here, but somehow it printed 10, but I have increased the volume. Here I have a proof. When I try to print the value of B, it becomes 11, but why it is uh, printed 10 here? Because, when I write, it like this. It means, uh, before that, I want to explain you something. We are trying to increase the value of uh, B by one, right? When I use this uh, plus plus symbol. It means the job is increasing the value uh, of B by one. Job is increment. We are trying to increase the value. But when it is uh, before the plus plus, uh, before the ex, uh, variable, it means first increase, first increment, then the job. We are trying to print the value of B. If it is like this, B plus plus, or number, plus plus. When I write it like this, this means the job is printing the value, right? We are trying to print the value. This is the job we are trying to do. But uh, plus plus is after the number. It means first we need to do the job and then increase the value by one. 
Job means we need to print the value. It will print 10, this is the job, then it will increase it to 11. It's still, it will, uh, it will print 10. After printing the uh, number, it will increase, increase its value. Because of that, uh, in the next line, when I try to print the number again, it will print here. B plus plus means when I try to print it, job is uh, printing the value. First, it will print B, then it will uh, do the increment. First job, then increment, because increment uh, comes after the B. If I write, if I had uh, written it like this, plus plus B, First increment, then the job. First, it will increase the value by one and it will become 11, then it will print it. It is a little hard to understand. Uh, but don't worry, we will try to solve out of questions. Let's try to solve another question for this one. Okay, I will create another class. And the name will be C of eight print post increment. First, we need a main method. Then I will write a few things here. For example, uh, we have an integer A. It will like go to 10 of the right number. And I want to print A and the value of A. Of course, here it will be 10 because I haven't done anything. When I increase it by one, uh, it will become 11. And after that, if I print A one more time, it will be 11, of course. Because we have increased the value of A by one. As you can see, it's working. I will do, <coughs> I will uh, have another integer with B. It can also be 10. And now uh, I will increase the value of it. But first I will print the B. You can explain it at first. Then I will increase the value of B, B plus plus. It will print 10, right? Because here we haven't increased the value. Then we have increased the value by one. B became 11. Okay, now, um, now uh, things will get a little bit confusing here. I will create integer C, integer C, and now this is another number, and the value of it uh, is 10, our forward number. It's our forward, everybody's forward number. And now I want to something else. I will print salt C, and now I will use C++. If you remember what I told you, uh, first we, uh, we are trying to print the C, right? Job is uh, printing. And plus plus is the increment. Here, first we see this, uh, we can see the C. So uh, first I will do the job. Job, then plus plus increment. I'm trying to print C. So first it will print the uh, value of C, which will be 10. Then it will increase the value of C to 11. It will print 10. Here it is, C is 10. Job is printing the C. 
So it will first print the C, then the increase the volume. If I do it like this, uh, let's have another um, integer, it will be 10. And now uh, I will do it a little different. First, I will uh, use plus plus, then D. It means uh, job is again printing. Plus plus means increment. Here, uh, at first, there's plus plus. It means first we will increase the value by one. It was 10. First, we thought uh, before printing it, we will increase the value by one, it will be 11. Then we will print it. So this one will give us 11. Okay. Now uh, the last one will be, D will be 11. As you can see. We are going to solve a uh, lot of example about this one. So, uh, but before that, let's have our break time. And then we can continue with our fresh, uh, with fresh brains. It is always better to have fresh brain, uh, you know. I think it is one of the most important thing when we are working. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you after 10 minutes.
Welcome back. <clears throat> uh, let's continue. Uh, we were learning uh, pre and post increments. Uh, until now, uh, we could be able to understand uh, what it does. Uh, you know, as you can see, if you write it before the uh, variable, first it will increase the value, then uh, it will do the job. And if it, if it is after the uh, variable, first it will do the job, then it, it will increase the value. Let me write and explain it here. Job is printing the uh, variable. The job is, yes, it's better. When we use variable name before the increment, before the increment, it means uh, first, oh, I'm sorry, after the increment. It is here after the, uh, after the, uh, I'm sorry, after the variable name, oh. Before the increment, okay. If you use the variable name uh, before the increment, it means first we need to do the job. It means first we need to do need to do job. Job is printing the value. Before increasing uh, increasing the value of the C, we have to print it. Before increasing the value, we have to print it. We will print it, or Java will print it. We will print it. Here it is a little different. Uh, job, the job is still printing the variable. The job is still printing the value. When we use a uh, variable name after the increment, it means uh, first we uh, first Java will increase the value, then it will print it. If uh, the variable uh, is before the increment, first you need to do the job, then the increment, then increment. If it is before the, if the increment is before the variable, first, it, you can understand it from, from the plus plus, it's before the V, it means first do the increment, then do the job. Increment, then uh, the job. Because of that here, the job is printing the C, it will print the value of C 10, then it will pre uh, increase it. After this line, if I try to print the C one more time, it will be always 11, because after printing 10, it has, Java has increased the value. Here it says, first increase the value, then print it. It was 10, and it will increase it to 11, and it will print it. Okay. If you have any question, I would love to answer them. You can write it from Zoom or Slack channel. So I think you got what I'm trying to explain, but I will try to solve uh, a few more examples about this one. This is asked in interviews, so uh, it is important uh, for everybody. Not always, but it is sometimes asked in interviews, not frequently. Rarely, but you can face this question. One of my friends uh, got this kind of question. Not all of them, <laughs> one of them. <laughs> So C uh, O nine or oh, not that O O nine O nine uh, pre post increment. It will be the same thing with the decrement decrements too. 
uh, we are going to cover that part too. But for now, uh, let's focus on increment to understand and the logic. I will write a few things uh, here in integer a. It will be equal to 10. Then I will write something else, integer b, and it will be equal to a plus plus. Then uh, we will have another uh, integer, it will be c plus plus b. And let's print south a plus a plus b plus b plus c plus c and the same thing you do not have anything else and let me write like this it will be better it is easier to understand first it will write an explaining then the value of a Another explain uh, B will be printed on the screen and the value of B, and it will be same for the C. Uh, let's try to understand what's happening here. I will write all the values here, but I want to change the color. A, B, C. In the first line, I know A is equal to 10. And here, what is the job here? Job is the assignment. We are trying to assign a new value to B. I will write job is the assignment. First, uh, we need to do the job because increment comes after the value. So before increasing the value of A, I will assign it to B. Before increasing the volume, uh, it was 10. I will make the assignment. Job is the assignment. So A is 10 before increase, increasing it. And I will in, assign it to B. B will be 10. And after the assignment, I will increase the value of A by one. It will become 11. Here, right now we are here. We are, uh, again, the job is uh, assignment. But here it says, first increase the value of the B, then uh, make the assignment. First job, uh, first increment. First uh, increment comes first here. Value of B is 11, uh, 10, sorry. When I make the increment, it will be 10. Uh, I, I'm uh, sorry, I'm mixing the numbers. Uh, after the increment, it will be 11. Now it is 11, and I will make the assignment, and C will be 11. So when I print values of A, B, C, all of them should be 11. Let's see. Oh, here it is but I should leave a space before them. So there will be a space between uh, 11 and B, and 11 and C too. Okay, uh, it seems it is working now. Okay, uh, let's let the comma to A little cosmetic uh, makes everything more beautiful. Okay. And oh, no, right now it's uh, it's okay. A is eleven, B is eleven, C is eleven. It means everything is fine there. Let's delete this part. If you have any question, please, uh, without any hesitation, ask me. Right now uh, we have the values, and I will continue. I have already created a value, so I can only I can assign it to another value. A will be. To 20 after this uh, line. And B will be equal to plus plus A. Then I'm saying C will be uh, A plus plus. Then again, I will print them. Uh, 
let's create an empty place. After this line, I know uh, the values, and now uh, we will start writing the second one. Okay, in this line, without any hesitation, uh, now, uh, as you can see, A became 20. Here, jump is the silent. But it says, first increase the value, then make the job. First, we will increase the value, then we will make the assignment. Here, uh, A's previous value is 12, uh, I'm sorry, 20. When I, when I increase it, it will become 21. And then it is 21 right now, I will make the assignment. B will become 21. In the next line, job is the assignment, as you can see, and uh, then we will increase the value. First, jo uh, job comes first here. A is 21. First, I will make the assignment. Then I will increase the value of A. Here, A is to, uh, 21. I will make the assignment. C will be 21. Then it says, after the assignment, increase the value of A by one. It will become 22. So uh, here, A will be 22, B will be 21, and C will be 21. Let's see. B is 22. Uh, A is 22, sorry, B is 21, and as you can see, C is 21. It is working. Let's solve another one. This is the table. And now, uh, again, I will make the assignment. And to, after this line, A will be 30. And I want to print a few values. A plus plus salt uh, minus minus A salt A minus minus salt A. Let's delete this chart. It's not necessary right now. We are going to work with A. Now let me make it. I will create a place after this one so we can. Focus on the last part. A. Here, job is printing the uh, value. Job is printing. Here, A comes uh, before plus plus. It means first we need to uh, make the job. And the job is printing the value of A. The value of A is 30. And first it will print, print 30 because job is uh, printing the uh, value of A. Then we will increase the value. It will become uh, 31. It will print 30 here. Here, minus minus comes uh, before the A. It means first we are going to decrease the value of A, then we will print it. First decrease it, it will become 30 again. Then we will print 13. Here, uh, it says first you need to do the job, then decrease the value. The value of A is 30, it will print 30. Then it will decrease the value, and the value will be 29. And here, without doing anything, it says print the value of A, <coughs> which is which is 29. Directly you can see it will print 30, 30, 29. Let's see. Thirty, thirty, twenty nine. 29. It's working as I, uh, I told you. <laughs> so, um, 
Do we have any question here? Okay, I will try to solve uh, a few more questions. Uh, but uh, first, uh, let's focus on the uh, slides and we will be able to understand what's happening here. We have number 10. Here the job is printing, then we will increase the value. Number is 10. It says first printed, job is printing, first print the value. It will print 10. Then it will increase the value. It will become 11. And here it will directly print the value of number, which is 11. It will print 10. As you can see, it, first it will print the value, then it will uh, increase, increase the uh, value. It became 11, so it will print 11. What about this one? Again, uh, the number is 10. Here we have vector that. Here, uh, the job is again printing the value, but it says first increase, then the job. First, we will increase the uh, value, then we will print it. It will print 11. Oh, I'm saying 11, but I'm writing 10, sorry, 11. Here again, it will print the uh, value, which is level. It didn't change in the second line. First increment, uh, then it will print it. Uh, we have another example here. A is uh, 10. Uh, we do not have any B value for now. A is 10. And when I come here, job is the assignment, right? Because of this equality symbol. And plus plus comes after day. It means first job, then increase. First, I will make the assignment. The value of A is 10. When I make the assignment, B will be 10. After the assignment, I will increase the value of A. It will become 11. If I print A, it will be 11. If I print B, it will be 10. It will first it will assign B, and then it will do the increment, and it will, it will be 11. It will print 11 and 10, as I told you. Another question here, A is 10. And we have B, but uh, we did not assign any value to it. Here, it says first assignment, then the job. First, increase the value of A. It was 10, it will become uh, 11, sorry. I'm doing this. I'm always doing this. And then uh, after increment, uh, we will increase, after increasing the value of A, we will make the assignment. B will become 11. When I print, a, which is 11, and B is also 11. Both of them are 11. Increment come, uh, increments uh, come first, it will be 11, and then it will assign B to 11. So 11 and 11. Yes, uh, these are examples. You know, the value of A is uh, 10 here. And when I try to print the value of A, the job is printing the value of A. But here, uh, plus plus comes before A. First, we will increase the value, 11. And then we will print it. It will print 11 here. Here, we are trying to assign B. We have B here. And as you can see, first the uh, variable, then increment comes. It means first job, then increase the value. Value of A is 11, and I will assign it to B. B will be 11. Then I will increase the value of A by one. It will become 12. 
When I try to print the model of P, it will be 11. Another 11 comes here. Oh, we have C now. Yes. Job is the mechanic uh, making the assignment. Okay. But uh, B comes first and then the increment. It means B will be 11 here. After the assignment, we will increase the value of B. And A is 12, as you can see. When I make the calculation, uh, C will be 23, I think. And then I have completed the job. After the job, I will increase the value of B to 12. If I try to print off, uh, if I try to uh, print value of C, it will be uh, 23. Some will be, uh, when I try to calculate well, all of them, 46, I think, because there's no increment here, uh, 24, 47. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's no question. Uh, there's no answer of them. But uh, it should be like this. If you have any question, I'm waiting for them with passion. <laughs> no, no question. When nobody asks a question, uh, nobody asks a question. Um, it's a little boring. Okay, uh, let's try to solve another question here. You know, I'm trying to solve a lot of questions here because uh, this may come in an interview. This question may come in an interview. So uh, I want you to be ready for it. C uh, 10 plus 10 pre post increment. First thing first, the main method, then I will write a few things here. Integer x equals to three. Integer y equals to two times, I couldn't get rid of that, but two times plus plus x. And we have another, another integer, integer z, which will be equal to, it will be equal to uh, five plus by minus minus. And I will print salt x plus uh, y plus z. Let's create the table here. We have an x. We have y and z, my favorite letters from math lessons. Okay, here without doing anything, uh, we are making the assignment. X will be three. And here uh, where things uh, get a little complicated. The plus plus comes before the uh, variable. It means first, uh, we need to do increment, then we will do the job. First, uh, let's do the increment. X will be four. Now this is four. Two times four will be equal to Y, which is eight. Y will be eight. Here. Y comes uh, before the decrement. It means first uh, we will do the job, then we will decrease the value of Y. Y will be eight here. When I uh, do five plus eight, it will be 13 and I will make the assignment Z will be 13. Then after uh, completing the job, I will decrease the value of pi to seven. 
x is 4, y is 7, z is 13, which will make the result 24. Let's run it. If everything is right, we should be able to see uh, 24. Yes, it seems like everything is perfectly working. So, uh, did I write an explaining somewhere? I think I left. Here it is. Shortly, if plus plus comes before the variable, first you need to increase the value, then the job. If plus plus comes after the variable, uh, first you need to handle uh, the job. Uh, if it is like this, first you need to increase the the uh, value of x first, then you need to uh, complete the calculation of whatever the job is. That's all uh, about this question uh, topic. And let's continue. Concatenation. Let's think uh, concatenation. When I say concatenation, <coughs> it is mostly about uh, string uh, dot apply. You know, uh, even thought, uh, I'm sorry, you know, string can store text values. Mehmet, Hassan, Hussein, uh, a novel, a book, uh, a notebook, everything can be a text. If it is like this, for example, Mehmet 13, it is still a text. If it is like this, uh, it is not a number. Don't forget, if you cancel double cuts, uh, this is not a number. For Java, it is still a text. Just like this Mehmet, this is a text. Uh, I mean, uh, you cannot add plus to it. Java cannot understand. This is a text, and you are trying to add a number to it. It will be like this. Because uh, this is a text, and you add it you uh, did the concatenation, uh, you added one to 13. As you can see, 13 plus one uh, for Java, it is this one. And this is another C string. It won't be a number. If you could be able to understand that, if uh, you can understand that everything between double cuts is a text for Java, everything will be easy. Yes, if you process a string with another string or a primitive value uh, with plus symbol, Java, Java concatenates those variables and creates a new string. This is the string value, and this is the number. I'm trying to add a number to string, and it did uh concatenate them together like this it is just putting them together there is no math calculation if i did it like this for example i had meh plus math for computer it is like this the result will be of course meh math if i put two numbers like this for example 13 plus uh 23, the result will be 13, 23. For a computer, these are not numbers, as I told you before. These are text values. Just like this one, it tries to, uh, it, the, they will act like letters like this, and Java will do the concatenation. And for this one, it's the same. These are like letters for Java because they are between double counts and it will concentrate uh, them like this. Okay, let's see what's happening here. For example, we have hello as string A variable and B is world. When I try to print the value of them, A and B uh, with plus, 
uh, the result will be hello world. As you can see, there is no space between them because we haven't put anything there. If I print them like this, uh, A plus a space, um, it should be between double counts, M plus B, Java will add a space between them. If you add a place, a uh, space uh, without uh, double cuts, it means nothing for computer. Encoding space uh, is meaningless. Even thought you add hundreds of space here between uh, A and B, if you don't use double cuts, the result will be same. Less than that, it will be a good example. The 11 concatenation. And before everything else, first thing first, let's create the main method. And I will create a string, string A. It will be hello. And uh, string B, it will be world. And I will print salt A plus B. And let's add a lot of space between them. And after the B2, R plus 2. And I will print them right now. As you can see, there is no space between them, not even one, not even, even uh, one space between them. Because uh, this space, uh, spaces means it's nothing for Java. If you write it like this, after the plus, for example, double cards, and the plus, and if you have added two spaces between them, now they will be two spaces between hello and world. If you want to use a uh, space character encoding uh, in, in, to print something, you should use double cards. Actually, this is a text uh, value for Java. It seems like there's nothing inside of it, but actually uh, for computer, it's another code. There are two spaces in this uh, value. <coughs> you cannot see it. Uh, but for computer, it is only another character. I'm sorry. Okay. A plus means hello world. Uh, with space character, uh, it will be printed like this. There will be space between uh, two worlds. Yes, if you try to use a string data in math calculations, uh, it won't work. Java won't be able to understand what you are trying to do. Instead of uh, adding them, uh, it will uh, print them. And you know, uh, C-string is c uh, That's the key word uh, to remember. Always, uh, if you try to, uh, for example, uh, we have hello here. If you try to add a number to it, it will become like this. As you won't be able to understand what we're trying to do. Hello one. It was a number. It doesn't have any uh, double cuts, but still for Java, when it is like, the, like this, it will do the concatenation. It would, one will be uh, included in the string uh, value. When I try to do this kind of math operations uh, with string, Java will do only the concatenation. Let's try to understand this part. A is hello, a string. B is uh, two and C is three. Java always start from, uh, starts from left side. And here, we are trying to uh, calculate B plus A plus B. A is hello. It is capital and plus two. You know, this is a string, this is a number. It doesn't matter for computer. It will be like this. Hello 
2. If I try to add uh, C to it plus C3, it will be hello two and three. As you can see, if there's a string in the calculation, I cannot do uh, math. Uh, I cannot calculate the sum of the numbers. I can only do the concatenation. I will add them after it. I will put them together. That's all. If there is a string in the calculation. For the second one, you know, Java always starts uh, from the left side. It says C plus B. C is three and B is two. That's the first calculation. Is there any string here? No. So and both of them are numbers. It will do the calculation because there is no string uh, here, not yet at least. And it will be like this. If I could be able to find the file. When I add uh, A to it, which will be hello. Now there's a uh, string in the uh, definition. It will be like this, five hello. Let's write it, five, hello. The first one was hello. Uh, two and three. Okay, the next one. Oh, as you can see, uh, this time uh, there are inner uh, brackets. You know, from the math rules, first we need to calculate uh, inside of the brackets. B and C, B and C, it is two plus three. Here there's no string, it means uh, we can do the math, it will be five. Here it is five. And it is like, hello plus five, and it will be hello five. Last one. Learning. Last one is uh, A plus B times C. Multiplication uh, has priority over uh, addition. So first we need to calculate this part. B times C. B times C. First we need to calculate this one. And there is no... Uh, String here, I can directly calculate it to six. And it will be like this. Hello plus six. Hello is A is hello plus six. The result will be hello six. Okay. The first one is hello and two and three. The second one is five, hello. Third one is, uh, first we need to calculate the five and the hello comes before it, hello five. Last one is uh, six comes first and hello six, just like I mentioned here. Thank you very much. Uh, this is end of uh, today's lesson. You know, uh, I will share, but I do not know how to reach you. Uh, nobody uh, joined the Slack channel, I think. If you have joined the Slack channel, uh, please write something on the live channel. Uh, so I will uh, know that you are there. I will share uh, documents from there and the quotes. I will also share the quotes from there too. Uh, you will be able to reach uh, the quote I have written until now from uh, the Slack. If you do not know what Slack is, uh, get in touch with your customer support, the one you have connected uh, before. If you do not know uh, his or her number, just uh, use the website wisequarter.com uh, and they will help you. Or uh, you can reach uh, me from LinkedIn too. I would love to help you in the process. Thank you very much for today. I hope to see it. Oh, this is uh, what today it is. Oh, we are not going to meet today, uh, tomorrow. 
the next lesson will be on uh, Wednesday. Uh, and we will continue on Wednesday. Thank you very much. I hope to, I hope to see you on uh, Wednesday. Good night. Thank you. Good night.